heard in the background a second ago. Call for the dog again. Sophie, come here, girl. Come on, Sophie. More deer tracks here. And I hope if I run into the big white thing out here, he's friendly. I sure am not armed up right now. I got the machete, and it's a cheap one. Another damn tire. Bastards. Now this is really interesting because I think that it is a horseshoe. And it's from a big horse. I would say a horse. Hold it up here where you can see it. Uh a horse with, eh, I, I don't want to say a draft horse, like a big farm horse, but kind of like they were before they started breeding them for brawn and size. So this shoe could actually be, this shoe could actually be 100 years old, especially the way it rusted. I'll teach you about metal rust in a little while. Old, old, old iron rusts very differently from new uh, iron and steel. And we'll talk about that. When you learn that among many other things I've done, blacksmithing was one of them, and it put beans on the table. That's another pretty picture. Look at that. I mean, wouldn't you just love to bring your family down here? Make a little campfire and eat lunch, dinner. That's just so pretty to look through. I think I came at the perfect time for doing this. I hope I'm not boring anybody with this. Please don't get bored. Kind of enjoy the tour. It's not something that I get to do all that often anymore. Sophie! <whistles> Come on, Sophie! Now I'll tell you, get out kind of in deep woods like this <laughs> start calling a dog. You don't know what the hell's gonna pop out and try to eat your ass. So that's some of my stopping is to look around. Sort of keep a clear distance all around. So I don't get bushwhacked. This is uh, quite interesting here. This isn't natural. Well, let me put it this way. Another damn tire. We'll dig that out. There's two more over there. Three. Bastards. But I want you to look at all these rocks here in a pile. You look all around. Just little stones. Maybe I'll just name this part of the farm Estonia. I don't think any Estonians would mind. They're pretty damn cool people in my book. But all these big rocks ended up right there. How so? I don't know. That's where they ended up. Hmm. 
Now, that is kind of funny looking because it's got graininess to it like bone. The funny shape of it is almost like a megal <laughs> like a meg, you know, the big ass shark. These pieces here, that one, that one, that one. I don't know if I have it. There, that one. These are amazing. Let's just see this. Sorry about all the swinging. They're coal. They are lumps of coal that got dug out and tossed mile after mile on this river. And they ended up here. And there's enough after every flood. You could go out and probably mine about a ton of them. Now, that silvery look to it kind of makes me wonder if there isn't some metal in them too but it's hard to say it could be kind of mica I'm going to have to get some of these and throw them in a crucible and burn them down and see what uh, see what comes out of them I always wanted to find somebody that was a rock expert and have them come out here. Of course, I'd want to blindfold them first. Now, we're coming around the side of the island. Usually, this is all water. All water. About hip deep all through here. And then it joins up right there at the end of the island. The island was part of this farm, and during one of the floods, the water uh, crashed through this way and took out the land in between. But on the map and survey, this still shows up as my island. And then I have a neighbor that has an island. Trying to buy it from him someday, I hope. There's a neat piece of quartz. Now that gray stuff that you see in it, that is some kind of metal. And what I found with it, <coughs> I'll hold it up here like that. What I found with that gray stuff is that if you take a pin and uh, pull it through, you, it's very soft and then it gets a really nice bright silver look to it so is there silver in it I don't know I haven't smashed much of it up or any of it up really and uh, checked it this is a neat thing here find a lot of that It's a, uh, eh, come here. Here we go. This is uh, from prehistoric time. And a lot of people say it's, it's coral. Prehistoric coral. And I think that's right. I think that's what it is. Anybody that sees this that has a little better knowledge of it than I do, please, uh, Leave a content, uh, uh, yeah, a comment, and let me know. Who knows? If I like what you have to say, I might send you a chunk. I'll probably send you a chunk just for commenting anyway. Now I've never found Indian arrowheads out here, but. Um, some of my neighbors said they have found them here on the farm. 
I haven't really looked, looked, looked. But I'm um, kind of wanting to sometime. Now what's really odd is usually by the time I get this far, I found four or five golf balls. Which, the golf balls were cool. Hey, look, where are you going, Mr. Toad? Don't run, nobody's going to hurt you. Can I get you on YouTube? You can be the toad of the tube. Say hi, everybody. I live out here on all these rocks. And there's a crazy man that looks like a Sasquatch or something. You have pretty color on your back there, Mr. Toad. Pretty damn fast, too, you little prick. All right, I'm going to leave you alone. I'm going to do what the devil never did for you. I'm going to leave you. There's an old priest used to say that every time he ran into me. <laughs> hmm. There's some more of that quartz. And it's all over through here. I got veins of it running through the farm. I do need to find out what metals are in it. There's some more coal. But I don't see no golf balls. Hmm. I wonder if somebody else got here. Like by canoe. Sophie! Come here, puppy! <whistles> come here, Sophie! But I did as I promised. Told them I would look for her. Now where she disappeared from is see that white spot, light spot way down there? There, you can see it better now. Way down there is a little bit of a turn. The creek turns to the right. And that piece of land sticks out a little bit. And that's where those jokers all go, and they're shooting up the place all the time. So, I'll be sitting around doing something on the farm, leather work or blacksmithing. And all of a sudden I hear boom, 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 boom. And one time, one of them had out here, I thought he had a full lotto, but then after I heard him shoot a couple of times, he had one of those bump stocks, which are now illegal. And for folks that shoot like that, it's probably a good idea. See, there's almost all the other stones you saw were different color. Then you have the, these come up. They look all dull, grab, and black. And then you have these come up. So. Sometime I might get a rock saw and start sawing them up and see what's inside. I really cannot believe I didn't find a golf ball. Unbelievable. Now, this over here. Okay, I... I'm sorry to do this to you. But I want you to be able to see it more clear. And I'll try to hold the camera as still as I can. Okay, do you see that rock? That whole embankment going down there has been protected with a rock wall. And the reason for that is, as I bring this camera up a tiny bit, oops, sorry, didn't do it right. Go down to the water and come up. You'll see there's a flat spot. Well, it looks like a bank. In fact, right where that tree trunk is. There was a ditch there. 
And that ditch was something they called Union Canal. And canal boats used to go down that. And what they had to do was put the block here to protect that bank for the canal. And then there was a towpath on there for the mules so that the mules could pull the canal boats. Now I'm going to pass way out because uh, big zoom is a bitch. You have so much camera wiggle and camera shake. And look, look at that. There's a tire there. <laughs>